www.nudibus.com. This is again Ty. This video is still actually a part of the ZTE ZXV1M W300 series tutorial videos that I'm creating. And this time, what I would want to share to you is how you can port forward using your ZTE modem. Uh, there have been questions way back in the older web server that we have, I mean, older domain asking how to port for it. I already created an article about that, so just bring up Firefox and I'm going to include this link in the description on the video below just in case you want to have a read on this and check as to how you can configure, I mean set up port forwarding on your uh, ZTE modem. Uh, everything has been detailed here, so you could just have a look at that, but now I'm just going to do a video on how you could also do that by yourself. What you do is you access your modem 192.168.1.1. If you can't access that, um, there's a separate tutorial that we have. You could just check that out in the list of the videos that we got on NudeWorks. What's going to happen when you access 192.168.1.1? It's going to ask you to log in give you username and password but I'm already logged in so um, if, if you got that I mean you've got to that page just key in your username and password it's gonna work so again the purpose is I mean the focus is to uh, port forward for ZTE so what you do you just go directly to advanced setup right on top right there uh, click on NAT and you got something that says in there DMZ and virtual server. So what you do is you click on virtual server and it's going to list down 16 rules for uh, application ports. If you're actually using this for a certain application, we got a detailed instruction right here. You can get to have a link as to where you can get to look up for here. Try to find port numbers, click on that and it should just give you portforward.com C ports HTM. So here, let me close that. Here you got a list of ports. In case you don't know what port you have to use for a certain application or problem you're trying to open up Xbox, play games, or to serve a virtual ra uh, a radio station over the internet, you really would need values for that. So you could check that one here. And if you're done getting those values, usually you could get like here, 2100 for the start and 2200 for the end ports. Uh, let's just use that as a value. Again, it's specific to what application you're trying to open for. Just fill out all the information right here. So again, from rule index, it's just going to be one application. Just you can select from all these right here, but basically, you can just leave that blank for now. Protocol, you could use TCP or UDP, public ports, private ports. If you're, uh, again, we have a detailed info right here, so you just have to read up here on a website that we have. And for both, uh, some of the routers would say TCP, UDP, and both. So we have all right here, so just say all. Uh, port number, um, if you already verified the port numbers that you'd be needing for uh, your specific device or probably application that you're trying to forward on with, just say, let's make go to uh, example 2100, just say uh, 2200. Local IP, just say 192.168.0. I'm sorry, 1.10, probably, something like that. Okay, and after you save it, it's going to be listed here. I don't want to save that now because uh, this modem that I'm using, I'm actually connected to the internet. I'm uploading something, so I can't save it. So there you go. You just have to save that and then restart your modem so you could refresh everything and probably your system would work. Um, I'm not saying that this will not work, but if you really are going to have troubles in port forwarding 
on a ZTE modem, what you best do is uh, disable the DHCP of ZTE and then purchase another router like D-Link or uh, Linksys and then set that up to port forward. How to do that? We also have a tutorial on the website that we have, noodleboss.com, and on YouTube, youtube.com slash noodleworks. Again, my name is Don. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video would somehow help you.